In this video, we will learn to find the limit of 1 upon square of x minus 1 upon square of tangent of x as x approaches 0. Let us assume L is the limit of 1 upon square of x minus 1 upon square of tangent of x as x approaches 0. As x approaches 0, 1 upon square of x approaches infinity and 1 upon square of tangent of x also approaches infinity. So, we can see that the limit L is in indeterminate form infinity minus infinity. Let us try to further simplify the limit to avoid this indeterminate form. The difference of the fractions is equal to square of tangent of x minus square of x upon square of x times square of tangent of x. In the numerator of the above limit, we can factorize it as tangent of x plus x times tangent of x minus x. As multiplying the numerator and the denominator of a fraction by a common factor does not change the value of the fraction, so let us multiply the numerator and the denominator by square of x. So L is equal to limit of square of x times tangent of x plus x times tangent of x minus x upon x raised to the power of 4 times square of tangent of x as x approaches 0. We can rewrite the above limit as product of three limits. So L is equal to limit of tangent of x plus x upon x times limit of square of x upon square of tangent of x times limit of tangent of x minus x upon cube of x as x approaches 0. Here I have rewritten the above limit as L is equal to limit of tangent of x upon x plus 1 times limit of 1 upon square of tangent of x upon x times limit of tangent of x minus x upon cube of x as x approaches 0. We know limit of tangent of x upon x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1. So application of the above fact gives us L is equal to 1 plus 1 times 1 upon square of 1 times limit of tangent of x minus x upon cube of x as x approaches 0. Further simplification gives us L is equal to 2 times limit of tangent of x minus x upon cube of x as x approaches 0. We know the Taylor series expansion of tangent of x is equal to x plus cube of x upon 3 plus remainder function of x raised to the power of 5. So L is equal to 2 times limit of x plus cube of x upon 3 plus remainder function of x raised to the power of 5 minus x upon cube of x as x approaches 0. Further simplification gives us L is equal to 2 times limit of cube of x upon 3 plus remainder function of x raised to the power of 5 upon cube of x as x approaches 0. Cancelling out the common factor cube of x in the numerator and the denominator gives us L is equal to 2 times limit of 1 upon 3 plus remainder function of cube of x as x approaches 0. As limit of remainder function of cube of x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0. So L is equal to 2 upon 3. Thank you for being with me. I hope you like this video. Please click the like button and subscribe button. Do not forget to press the notification bell so that you get the notifications of my new videos.
share the video and do write in the comments i am eager to listen to your thoughts if you have any question related to video if you think i should make a video on any other topics in which you are interested please write in the comments thank you